What's up guys, Jim the Game Guru. Let's do some Dutch Blitz. This is a game that my sisters picked up when they went to a wedding and they, you know, they were bored one night while they were there and they said in the hotel and they said, let's pick up a game. And they actually did a video conference with me. <laughs> <laughs> until four in the morning. Yeah, until four in the morning, <laughs> yes. And drinking and having fun and I was just watching it and Kat was like, hey, you know what? Uh, this is like this is like porn for you, isn't it? Watching <laughs> watching us play the the, the game uh, through video conference. Yeah, so here I am with my sisters, Marilena and Cat, and we're gonna have a sister versus sister battle in Dutch Blitz. So we'll show you guys how it's played. Um, it's really cool. This is a game that I will be absolutely honest. I will probably suck at no matter how many times I play because my brain cannot move as fast as this game requires. This game is fast. It's like solitaire mixed with like spit. It's like a spit card game. Yeah, it's it's just so fast. My, my, I'm like, uh But yeah, we're gonna show you guys how to play this. Let's, let's go ahead and get into uh, a little battle. Okay, let's dig into some blitz action. And we have all four cards down here, or all four decks. This game comes with four decks for four players, right? And each one of them has a different logo on the back of them, as you guys can see. And if we look through the cards here, they each have a kind of a number on them, and then they have whether or not it's a girl or a boy. As you can see here, different colors. The greens are girls, the blues are boys, yellows are girls, and orange are boys. And they all have one through 10, just like that. And Marilena is going to be one of the decks, and go ahead, Kat, choose one of your decks. These other two go away because we don't have four players, right? It's just two yeah. player. Okay. And they're gonna go ahead and shuffle their cards. And then in this game, what happens is you have three different sections. You have a blitz pile. You also have a- Post piles. Post pile, that's, that's the one like you're, you're doing your solitaires. And then you have, was it the wood pile? Dutch piles. The Dutch yeah. pile's in the middle. This is where you go one through 10, as we'll show you guys here in a second. And your wood pile has yeah. your pile in your hand. And your wood pile is basically like your draw pile, like just like in solitaire, you know, when, when, you draw the, the, when you draw three cards and you use the one, the third card, as you're flipping through, that's your wood pile. So the first thing you do is you count 10 cards off the top and that is your blitz pile. Okay. You put it face up and a stack. There you go. The object of the game is to get rid of these 10 cards first, call blitz, and play stops and score is recorded. And, the, and this is also where you get the most damage. So if you have cards left in the stack, you just went minus two points, right? Per For each card. one of those mm -hmm. per card. Okay. And then now we have to build our post piles. With two people, we have five. Ooh. With less, more than two people, we only have three. And these are where you build descending, mm -hmm. alternating by boy. So I need to put a seven boy here on my eight girl. And that's the hard thing about this. So like regular solitaire is pretty easy, but the problem with this is what Madalena just said, is the alternating boy girl, which is painful because that is what throws at least in my mind, that's what trips me up because now I know with this eight uh, girl, I need to put a seven boy on top of it. I can't put a seven girl on there. So the Dutch piles, we have to um, have every single color. This is like, it's literally like the discharge piles. So you have every single color here. You have to start with one and then it goes until 10 on each row by color. By color, yeah. So then, um, so you basically keep building points that way by adding on to those piles. Um, but whoever, but the real object is to get rid of your Dutch pile, your um, your blitz pile um, first. Go ahead and put your blitz pile over here so they can see that you have your blitz pile over there. Cause you, that blue card is the end of kind of where the, okay. the camera shot is. And some other important rules, you can only use one hand to put yeah. your cards down. So I can't you, 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 like you, this. Yeah, you yeah. can't, you can't do like Kat does. She likes to put two hands down on every time she That's throws them down. That's not true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Uh, but Mary, but she's got your beat in the solitaire, but let's see, Mary, maybe Madalena could beat you in the solitaire today. Cause let's you were, see. you were kicking her butt last time on it. Right. Okay. So these, these two have, uh, played a, quite a few games on this when they were out. So let's see, let's go ahead, fire it up. Okay. This is all real time. So there you go. So and now they start off the middle. She has to play her one there. Yep. 
Now, Madalena has an open spot over here, so she can put on a card over there to get it off her blitz pile. And, yep, I don't have any numbers descending from each other at all to play on top of each other. So yes. I'm going to draw for my wood pile. I need you all three cards mm. face up. And I can put this five girl on mm -hmm. this six boy. And then that I can't put this four on this five because they're both girls. So that's not allowed. Okay. But I can't put and, and but you could go if you had a card underneath that that you pulled from here, you could put that immediately up too, right? I could. Yes. So I can do that now too. But again, you want to get rid of your blitz pile. So I can I can fill it with my wood pile, but then that's not doing me any favors on my blitz pile. So what do I do? What do I do? I guess I'll just do that. So as you can see, guys, in the center, you're going from one to ten by the color in order. And then that's that's the real time aspect is you're doing this all this in real time with the solitaire and then you're flipping the cards up and smack them down the middle, try to get rid of them. You want to get rid of the first person that gets rid of their blitz pile calls blitz. And then that's when you stop the game and you count the points. Oh. Oh, she got the one there, okay. So they're going through their wood piles right now. They're trying to see if they can find something to put down. And, and, and if any time during your, the, the, the round, if you're going through your wood pile and you can't, if both players cannot find a card to put down, then they're allowed to shuffle their wood piles. Well, re, I guess flip them over, right? Uh, the bottom card goes on top and you start over. Yes. Bottom card of your wood pile goes on top. Oh, are you guys shuffling now? Do you have nothing left? Nope, I have to go through again. Oh, okay. And Katarina's a solitary wizard over there doing her magic again. I'm like right here, I can't use my seven because it's blocked. So that's another part of this game you have to like yeah project ahead a little bit too i'm not so she's talking about her solitaire piles in her solitaire piles you might have a card that's underneath that's blocked so like she said her seven yellow is blocked so that she can't put her seven yellow here on top of the six and i don't want to put my four here because the four the yellow four has already been used and i'm yeah four. you wouldn't be able to get rid of that yeah yes. so a seven yellow and your seven yellow is buried over there on the left far left Oh, but Marilena's only got two cards left in her Blitz. So now I'm like, and, do and, I do that? And it's um, important to note that you don't have to worry about your solitary. I mean, you don't have to like, the, the, the key is to get rid of the Blitz cards, right? Let's. And like she just uh, did. There you go. So she got rid of the Blitz cards. And so you don't have to worry about getting perfect solitaire. The solitaire part is just to make sure that you can get your cards out so that you can go cycle through. Um, yeah, freeze up your the spaces so you can move your blitz pile and stuff like that. And let's go ahead and see what we got for points here. Right, so so th these these mean nothing. So the, 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 the these cards in there, this cat has, she's got these three cards in her blitz. That means these are worth minus two each. And these are one point each, so yeah. I have four points, but no negatives, so I am positive. And Kat's got a lot of cards in there, plus her negatives. So how many cards? Eleven minus my... six. So Kat got five points, and Money Lena. Four. So Kat actually, even though Kat didn't get rid of her blitz pile, she won that round by one point because she had more points in the center. Um, but yeah, so what was the point total in this? Seventy-five. So the first person that gets the 75 points wins the game. Um, is there a tie? Is there anything with ties or anything? I can't remember if there's ties or... I can't remember either. I don't think it said anything about ties. Yeah. Okay. All right, cool. So that's how you play Dutch Blitz. It's pretty, it's pretty simple. All right, you guys, let's go, let's go ahead and go to final thoughts. All right, final thoughts. Dutch Blitz, you guys have more experience than I do in this game. You guys played it a whole night drinking there. So what do you guys think? It's a lot of fun. It's fast. So if you like fast paced games that you have to pay attention to not only your cards, but what people are throwing down in the center, then this is your game. I love it. Yeah, I like that it's fast paced, but I love the solitaire aspect because mm -hmm. I played it growing up all the time. I a deck of cards and I have solitaire game apps on my phone. So I'm a big solitaire fan. So that aspect I, I love. 
Got a little bit of Uno in there with calling Blitz, and you're getting the last of your cards out. Yeah. It's um, very fast, like that. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I see the Uno part with the very end, mm -hmm. but instead of, you know, letting people and know. And alternating, like, yes. the colors and gender and stuff like that. That's the tricky part, is alternating. I've had a hand that I had eights mm -hmm. on the board, and or nines, and every time I got the descending card, it was the same gender. Every single time. And I couldn't do anything with it, so I couldn't move my cards. If you can't move your cards to your post pile, you're never going to get your blitz pile down. And I remember that was like a big thing when you, when you guys were showing me over the conference. It was like, God, I keep getting the same gender, same gender, I can't put it down. Um, I, I think the game is really cool. The I will say, though, I mean, it's it's difficult for me. I, I've already, already com I complained about this earlier, is that I can, my brain can't think that fast. I feel like for older people, like maybe my age or older, it might be a little tough because like I, I mean I can't I can't keep up with it unless you're playing with somebody else who's like you who's at your pace and yeah then, that's true you know, that's true. kind of like a bridge kind of just so if you're playing with younger people that have a sharp mind and they're super fast at thinking out like and just boom 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 and they're calculating the stuff in their head quickly it's it's a, it's a rough go um, because I can't I can't do that um, and then the gender thing gets me tripped up every time I go to Solitaire and like I, mean, I only played it a couple of times with Marilena or do some quick dry runs there but I just, my brain was like, no, does not compute. It was like locking up. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind. If you're, if you have that mindset or if you're an older and you just can't think as fast, it may be a, a, a little tough. Um, I'm used to a lot of turn-based strategy stuff in these, in, in games that we play. Um, but yeah, it, but as far as the mechanics, I think yeah. the mechanics are really good. I like the cards, the way they look. Yeah. It's different. This I game agree. is it's different. It's different. I, 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 I haven't like seen it. it. I agree. And I, for something we just picked up randomly at the store, mm -hmm. um, it definitely it paid off. And How much was that when you guys picked it up? I can't remember. I think twelve dollars. It was at Barnes and Noble, okay. and the lady the lady said she's like, we've been selling this a lot lately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Twelve bucks. I mean, it's a good deal. Mm -hmm. Lots and of fun. Four players in there, and they have an expanded pack too. Uh, so if you want to play more players, oh, but that, which, but that only gives you more decks, I think, for more people. Doesn't yeah. It? There's no expansion to the rules. The no, rules no, no. are always going to be the same. Yeah, but there's more decks. Yeah. So which I can't even imagine yeah. having like eight yeah. people like that would be. It, it would be nuts. <laughs> I mean, it, it, that's like a game. You, like, like maybe if you're having a party and you're drinking and you have like six people or whatever, and yeah. you're just getting hammered and you're all just going ah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we haven't um, even played with three people yet to see what that dynamic change is like, and it, it would just be insane. It, yeah, yeah, because every time you go to put a card down, it's already it's, down. it's already there. Yeah, <laughs> it's already I, I think in that aspect it'll make it more difficult. So I think in that yeah. aspect it might be fun, but but I do think I feel like there'd be cards yeah. flying everywhere. But I, and I, th I feel like all the expansions, if they come up with like a, additional stuff for this game, it's always going to be more players. I don't. I, I feel like the rules in this game are so rigid that how would you include new rules? Like how yeah. would you go expand? You can't. You, no, you, you can't. You can't no. change the rules in this game. Yeah. Like other games, they all have add-ons. For expansions, where they'll actually introduce a new mechanic. Yeah. Unless they add more blitz po uh, Dutch piles to the center. Maybe, okay. maybe like a different color, maybe like a purple color mm -hmm. or something, maybe. But I, I don't see a lot of flexibility in that aspect of them kind of extending the game like in different expansions or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, so it's Dutch Blitz. Pretty cool game. Uh, these two are amazing at it. Um, but yeah, if you guys like card games and you guys like fast-paced games, there you go. All right, guys. See you later. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.